Hi guys, welcome to For Those Who Code. In this video, we'll be learning how we can create our own animation using Greensock with React. And also a bonus point, we'll also be covering scroll trigger introduced in Greensock recently. So let's take a look at what we are building. So we'll be building this particular animation where we have a sequence of animation. The first heading comes and the subheading slides in and the button and navigation slides in and uh, the navigation slides from up to downwards but the rest of the elements slides from down to upwards and the last element uh, that slides in would be the banner image and if we just scroll downwards we will trigger another animation which is scroll based animation so uh, right now uh, we are uh, using some uh, translate of y-axis so you can also play with it and have your complex animation added as well. So uh, uh, while scrolling upwards, the animation will go in the reverse order as well. So uh, for reference, you can also find the link to the GitHub repository down below. So let's get started. I've already created my project with create React app and I've added some of the markup files and and also I have added some packages like GreenSock which is a sort of form of GSAP and um, 3.4.2 and then uh, right now if we just go and reflect um, in the browser then we can uh, see nothing is animated and it just um, motionless so now let's move ahead and animate these uh, stuff that we have here so before that uh, let's move ahead and create a variable and uh, for that variable we will call t1 and a t1 would be new timeline light so before that I would also like to import timeline light from our library and which is gsap and then we'll now uh, create the initial delay so uh, when we refresh or when the page loads if there would be initial delay of 0 0.3 seconds and uh, we will make the use of use effect hook uh, so inside use effect hook we will uh, we can add uh, t1 dot from so from is a method which is provided by uh, so right now we can like place is empty and uh, empty array and then we can remove the return so uh, from is a method uh, so I have already opened my Greensock documentation as well so uh, inside Greensock we have a list of useful methods that we have as well so uh, inside here we can uh, click on from so um, uh, right here you can see the example of from a method so our uh, from takes uh, opacity uh, y-axis and the duration so um, the parameters or uh, we can also add the parameters like targets and uh, variables like ease duration delay or on complete so um, so these are all the properties that we can access so uh, right now we what we will do is we can uh, write uh, something like uh, from uh, so we will select our class which is uh, the banner uh, main right and then uh, we will translate the y-axis to 50 and also opacity we will also add opacity initial of zero so these are all the uh, uh, the special properties that we can access uh, from the library itself so um, and then we can also add an ease so uh, the ease can be 
um, uh, something like uh, if we just search for ease then you can see uh, we have even the visualizer for us like pow one pow two pow one pow two pow three pow four and then rough bounce and these are all the properties that we can write so for now we can uh, we will we will just write power three so uh, power three and then power three dot ease out uh, we will also add a little bit of delay so that it will be quite smooth enough and then we can add start as well so uh, after this one uh, we can write our next i think we also need to import power 3 from our ngs app so let's add power 3 here as well and beforehand let's also um, import the whole uh, this app library as well because we will be needing them and start is not defined okay uh, so i think we should also import use effect hook and then start is not defined i think for the start uh, we need to add a quotation so um, give it a refresh then we can reflect the changes uh, on our uh, website as well now let's add another animation that we have so we will now be using uh, the stagger animation uh, which is quite uh, I mean uh, quite common uh, commonly used for text so we will uh, select our text and then uh, we can uh, also animate this from uh, y-axis uh, and give it the value of 30 and then uh, with the animation of ease and uh, power 3 uh, and then uh, ease out and the initial opacity of 0 so um, we can also add some uh, give it a start as well and then if we just hit a refresh then we can see uh, we have a stagger animation uh, where uh, the first comes this one and then and the, this one so um, uh, then now uh, let's also go ahead and create some um, other animation that we need as well so we'll add other animation so uh, we'll use um, the from method provided by greensock so uh, we will select now the button which is the button pri in our primary and then right here we will animate the y-axis of 20 and give it the opacity initial opacity of zero and um, we will ease with the power of three and ease out and also we can add an initial delay uh, so that mm, the, everything is uh, calculated so uh, you can also play with the calculation later on as well uh, so uh, we can add another animation uh, as well so it would be uh, the paragraph paragraph animation and we can copy this stuff right here because we'll be using the same properties that we have uh, for the paragraph let's add just uh, uh, give the value of 10 to y and then uh, 0 power 3 is in out and delay of uh, 0 0.2 and also add uh, 0 0.35 uh, as well so now uh, let's move ahead and create another uh, uh, animation to our nav so nav will um, be uh, from uh, negative minus y which would be 
from uh, up to downwards. So not bottom up. So I think I have misspelled opacity. So for our nav, we have uh, minus 10 and opacity of zero and ease of power three uh, is out and delay of 0 0.2. And uh, we can also pass on start to this one as well. So I think we are pretty much done with our first basic animation that we have. So let's save it. Uh, this app is defined, but so if we give it a refresh, then we can see our paragraph and buttons are not animating. Uh, it's because we, I think we have forgot to add a dot before this one and also a dot because, because we are accessing the class ultimately. So if we give it a refresh, then we can see a sequence of animation. And uh, at the last of the animation, we see the button. So if you want to play with the sequence, you can also play with the delay and also the property that we have, which is 0 0.35 and 0 0.15, which would be quite quick and 0 0.35 would be quite slow enough. Also, we have added some delay to um, add some transition to the element as well. So now let's move ahead and create another animation. So uh, for another animation, we'll be animating uh, this particular element right here with scroll trigger so uh, uh, first of all let's import scroll trigger this app scroll trigger okay now also we need to register register the plugin and pass down the scroll trigger that we imported as well so i think we are pretty much good to go uh, with this one uh, so now let's move ahead and create our uh, scroll based animation. So for our scroll based animation, we, we can add uh, this app dot. The this app uh, is already imported uh, before. Uh, so I've already imported it beforehand. So uh, from so what we'll be animating is the content, right? So uh, we are animating the content and uh, inside. Here we can add some uh, properties of duration, duration uh, which could be initially, uh, let's say uh, it would be three, and then the y-axis would be animated to uh, 100. So let's give it its a string. So an opacity of zero initially, and then we can also uh, add some ease to this one as well. So we'll add ease in, and then uh, we can uh, ultimately uh, add scroll trigger, an object, and inside that object we can access the properties of trigger, uh, and then we'll be triggering uh, content main, which is this particular. Uh, looping panels that we have, uh, which are uh, these lorem epsom in the bottom. So uh, we can see some kind of animation going on, but it's not totally complete yet. So uh, inside trigger, we can add some um, uh, start. So start would be from the top. So start 90%, what this means is start the animation from uh, the viewport of 90% from the top. So to understand uh, this one, we can also um, uh, access some properties, which I will let you know about it as well. And the end is uh, bottom, 60%. So from the bottom, uh, if the view uh, port height is 60%, uh, we'll end the animation and uh, toggle actions. Uh, so uh, the actions that are uh, toggling uh, is is restart so we want to re restart uh, the animation uh, complete the animation and then uh, also reverse uh, we are uh, reverse the animation and also uh, reset the animation so uh, I think we are pretty much 
okay with this one so uh with the, this small piece of code then we can um see our animation in action so if we scroll a little bit for mods then we can see it's sliding in and it's quite smooth enough and we have also like added a reverse to our animation right so we have uh, written reverse here so to understand the start and end we can also add another property which are access which is called markers and then uh, it's a boolean value so we can if we uh, pass in two to this one then what we can see here is we have the scroll end and scroll start so uh, this is the uh, the span and if this particular line uh, touches start which is um, which is the content right here the content is uh, this scroll end and scroll start and uh, the content mean uh, is the main uh, animated um, you know divs so uh, start and end so uh, you can see if this st scroll start uh, touches start then animation triggers and then we can see uh, it's it has not reached to it end uh, but we have added uh, complete as well so uh, so because we don't have any space in uh, in the bottom of this particular div also we have the reverse of the scroll animation as well so uh, this is uh, some small animation that we did uh, right now so we can, you can also like play with the animation and also make it more complicated if you want to so guys i hope you got some initial ideas on making your own animation with the green sock library so thank you so much for watching my videos if you want, guys want to learn more about code design and anything please like share and subscribe with a click down below i'll be trying to make more better videos like this so see you in the next one guys